Ohio State at this point? How, how they've kind of evolved since you saw them last month? Uh, they're they're an interesting team because uh, you know they play hard and they've got a lot of pieces and they're right there. Uh, obviously, unfortunate situation against Wisconsin, <coughs> but uh, obviously they have our attention when they beat us you know, by sixteen. And uh, you know, they're, they're in the fight every day. You can tell this is, they've got them still playing hard, playing together. And uh, you know, I think when you look at their, like I said, you look at the individual pieces that they have, they got a lot of different guys that can score. They have a lot of different guys that can post up. They compete defensively. They've got, you know, some three point shooters and they've got some depth. Team that you have the utmost respect for. Is Sensima, is he the best freshman in this league? Uh, certainly one of the top, yeah. I mean, there's, there's some other good ones too, but yeah. he's really gifted offensively. And that's not to say that he's not you know, a good defensive player or anything, but like he has, he, he, he has a, a real keen sense of how to score. How to get a shot off, uh, scores from all different locations, how to use his body. He's impressive. Trent, not that your players needed to be reminded, but the Minnesota game, you're always preaching to us that you got to respect everybody. Was that just another example of the fact that they kept it close with eight scholarship players? And... Yeah, I mean, they, they've been doing that all year. I mean, they, they got blown out a couple times. Uh, I think they've come to the realization like, you know, Garcia is probably not going to play. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. So, a lot of it falls on Battle and Cooper, but those other kids are gaining confidence. I mean, they've got a really good freshman class. And, uh, they've got some, they've got some size, and they've got some some speed. And they're going to fight you on defense, and you got to make shots to beat them. And you know, we had a stretch where we were, and then we weren't, and then we did at the end. But they're going to keep coming. You know, Ben's doing a good job with him. What did Michigan State do to Ohio State? I mean, Ohio to hold them to 41 points. No, that that uh, score was a little bit, I mean, you're right, they held them to 41. That, that's impressive. But it was a little bit deceit, deceiving because they, you know, the last four or five minutes, they, you know, they really extended it. It was, it was a pretty close game up until then. And uh, they just kept scoring the last, you know, went from like, Nine or ten to twenty, pretty quick, and uh, you know, Walker went off a little bit. He was playing really well. Coach, your your press has been pretty effective defensively as of late. What makes it so uh, so effective, and maybe what are some advantages and disadvantages of playing that spot? Yeah, yeah, there's always disadvantages because you know you're opening up the floor and giving them opportunities to attack you and throw over and shoot threes. Uh, it can be problematic when you play a team that, that plays four guards, um, but you know it, it, it's it's something you can play different ways. You can be more aggressive with it, less aggressive with it. You know, we were aggressive the other day, then we weren't so aggressive with it. And you know, it can be more of a contained press. A lot of teams play contained press. Uh, you know, we kind of do both, but we just feel like you know, it disrupts you. Thank you.